What's up guys, Froggy here, and today I'm back with another nerdy video about the Video Mic NTG. So I already made a video about the features of this mic and another video about comparing it to the Video Mic Pro Plus, but I felt this is a video that has to be done because this is something that no one else is talking about. So if you don't know, one of the main selling features of this mic is that not only can it be plugged into a camera, but it can also be plugged directly into a smartphone like an iPhone or an iPod Touch, and it can be plugged into a computer using a USB cable and used as a USB mic for either a podcast, a voiceover, or something like Skype. But there is something I've noticed about this mic when you plug it into anything that's not a camera. So today I'm going to be showing you how this microphone sounds when it's plugged into three different devices. A camera, a smartphone, and a computer. Alright, I'm going to set the microphone on this little tripod right here. And I'm going to set it up just down like that. So it's gonna be kind of like a broadcast microphone setup. And I'm gonna record myself saying the exact same thing into three different devices. The first device will be my camera, the 5D Mark III. The second device will be my iPod Touch. And the third device will be my MacBook Pro. And I'm gonna record the audio straight into Premiere Pro. So put some headphones on and listen closely. All right, here we go. What's up guys, Froggy here, and you're listening to the Video Mic NTG being recorded through the camera. What's up guys, Froggy here, and you're listening to the Video Mic NTG being recorded through an iPod. What's up guys, Froggy here, and you're listening to the Video Mic NTG being recorded through a computer. All right, so as you can see, or as you can hear, they all sound so different from each other, even though it's the exact same microphone at the exact same distance. Now to me, the audio from the camera sounded the best. It just has this very full, complete sound to it. The iPod sounded a little more dull and empty to me as if it was a lower end microphone. And the computer sounded similar to the iPod, but with a little more bass. Now I will say that the iPod and the computer had the least amount of background noise to it. So I think that's a good thing because it means the audio is being recorded a little cleaner. And that way you can play around with mastering it to make it sound better. While the camera audio did pick up a lot more background hiss noise, which is probably harder to clean up. So the main thing to blame all these differences on is the preamps in each device. The camera clearly has some type of preamp to make the audio sound good directly out of the camera without having to master it, while the iPod and the computer record the audio a little more cleaner so you have more room to make it sound the way you want. But yeah, this is something I thought I really needed to make a video on because I first thought that this microphone was gonna sound the exact same way no matter what device it was plugged into, but clearly not because this sounds like a completely different microphone plugged into the different devices. I should also note that the microphone only recorded one channel of audio on the iPod, while the camera and the computer recorded two channels of audio, one for the right and one for the left. So keep that in mind if you plan on getting this microphone. Now this does make me think about something else. So I have these Rode Smart Lab microphones, which are lab mics that you plug directly into a smartphone and record the audio through that. And these mics sound pretty good. They're not the best, but they sound pretty all right. But since now we know that the preamp on each device sounds different, I wonder what this lav mic would sound plugged directly into the camera. So I got this SC3 adapter, which allows me to plug the smart lav microphone into a camera. So let's do an audio test comparing the smart lav plugged into an iPod and then compare it to it in the camera. All right, let's do it. So I'll just clip it to me right there. We'll start with the iPod. What's up guys, Froggy here, and you're listening to the Smart Lav Plus being recorded into my iPod. What's up guys, Froggy here, and you're listening to the Smart Lav Plus being recorded into the camera. Damn, it even sounds better plugged into the camera, so I guess these little Smart Lav microphones are way better than I thought. It just depends on the preamp of the thing that it's being recorded to, so clearly smartphones don't have that good of a preamp, but I guess if you could plug these things into a better recorder, probably like a Zoom or something like that, you'll get better audio, whether it's on this Smart Lav microphone or on the video mic NTG. All right, so I hope this video taught you about preamps and how the same microphone could sound different plugged into different devices devices. So keep that in mind when you decide to buy a microphone because that's definitely a huge factor to it. If you're interested in either the Video Mic NTG or the Rode Smart Lav Plus, which I highly recommend, I'll leave some Amazon links down below so you can check it out for a good deal. And other than that, thank you guys for watching. Please drop a like on the video if you made it this far and subscribe because I'm definitely going to be making more nerdy content like this. All right, peace guys.